Hello everyone, my name is Adam Key, and today I want to show you a neat trick with these new command blocks. I am in creative mode, so I'm going to just fix that. Game mode is zero. Okay, yay. Now, I am in survival. This is um going to be my custom map. It's not nearly finished yet, but hope for luck. Um. So, I want to show you this neat trick with command blocks. I'm using it in my map. Now, look over where? Last chamber on the left. Oh, it's a villager. What's he doing? Let's go see him. Oh, he's Lucas. Well, I didn't... I could probably tell that because it said Lucas in front of all things. Who am I? Well... I'm the jump key, clearly, but for now I'm player, for specific means. Ignore that. Want to be friends? They said I'm going to be... Want to be friends? They said I'm going to be testing with you when my door is fixed. Go find your test chambers and I'll catch up. Okay, so it's clearly this door is having some issues, or it's a... Oh god. Um, I'm not going to set something to stop that. Because right now... Now I'm going to change my game mode back to creative, so I can fly. Now see, this is where the, um, the actual pressure pad is. It's not opening because down here, there is a redstone torch keeping the iron door from, move from moving. This is a fun little um, trick I probably will use a lot in this map whenever I have some door that I don't want to open. If I have a door that I don't want to open, what you can do set torch so it looks like it's closed so if I set the torch say here it's gonna look like it's closed even though it was originally supposed to be facing this way when you set the torch it looks like it's a closed door and pressure pads or anything redstone will not open it because it already has the redstone signal so that's a fun map making trick with doors and with iron doors I should say it could probably be used as a great trolling trick, but whatever. Anyways, then it comes up to this block, which says, Lucas, want to be friends? They said I'm going to. And then I give it a small delay before going to this one. And then I give it another small delay before going to this one. And to be honest, I don't like the delay on this. So what I am going to do, I'm going to pull up another iron block. I can really use any block, I could probably use the third if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So, now right now what I'm doing is I want a longer delay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add repeaters, repeaters. Now if a repeater, one, two, three, four ticks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this one is the one that says go find your test chambers, but I want them to get sort of acquainted with the fact that they're going to be working with Lewis, Lucas, I don't know, character's name. They're going to be working with Lucas a bit, so I want them to be acquainted with that fact. So there's like, want to be friends, they said I'm going to be testing with you when my door is fixed. Go find your test chambers and I'll catch up. I think I'll leave it like that, because that actually looks really good. So. Obviously, this is just um, a simple thing. If you don't know what a command block is, type give, type your name, and then 137. And it gives you this neat little block. And what you can do, you can type say hi. And it will, if you place a redstone signal, say hi. So, say I said Lucas. It says Lucas. Now, here's the neat thing. If I type at P... It'll say the player name, which in my case is player. And you know what? This is getting kind of annoying, so I'm going to get a button. So with that, it will say player. So if I put at P this hi, then it'll say that the player said hi. And um, quick note, you can't have this the same or it'll just detect it as at P and not at player. It, you're gonna have to keep that separate, like anything. Like if I put at P and then a comma, it'll still say at P. 
or else the player said at P because this isn't touching any of these other blo the blocks, these other characters. But the P has a comma and therefore is not at P. It's pretty neat. I don't think it works with um, at A. It, it will not list all the players. Or if it does, um, I haven't tested it because I wonder if I can test it right now. Well, no, because I'm only on a server. Oh, but I guess it does. I guess it does list all the players. That's interesting. So yeah, that is how to create a character using command blocks, and how to keep people from going where you want them to go, and tell an entire story, especially if you have a character that you want to say. And clearly, I'm glitching out because of the door here. I probably shouldn't have iron fences. But I couldn't think of what else would be see-through other than fences, and I didn't like fences. Look here. This is all like... I don't know. I like it. So, yeah, my name is Legend Key, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to this map, because actually, um, it's not going to be out in a hurry, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, my name is Legend Key, and I'll see you guys in another video.